hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i wanted to quickly show you how i trim my own natural hair at home i want to keep this video very very short and very very simple so let's just jump straight into the video so my hair has already been stretched i did like chunky twists yesterday evening and this is what it's looking like it's slightly stretched not fully stretched but uh, when you want to trim your own hair you want to make sure that your hair is not in a twist out per se you want to make sure that it's stretched out so that you can be able to see where the damage starts from and all i'm gonna do is just work in smaller sections of course to do this you will need a white tooth comb or anything that you use for detangling and then you'll need a pair of scissors i just have regular pair of scissors but it's really recommended to use like trimming shears but i'm gonna use this and then i have this rat tail comb right here okay so i want to show you guys two simple methods that i usually use when i'm trimming my hair so how i'm gonna do it is i'll take a piece of hair a small piece of hair so for example this piece of hair right here and then i'll just start stretching my hair and then when it gets to this point right here where i can see through <laughs> the other side of the wall as you can see this part my root area is thicker as compared to my ends it's very dry it's very thin and you don't need to hold on to this dry ends right here because if you do so then your hair will just continue breaking and you won't have healthy hair and what's the main goal the main goal is that you're chasing healthy hair so what i'm going to do is i'll spread some water just a bit of water work that in Again, the main goal is just to feel because you want to interact with your hair. You want to interact with your hair. You want to feel it using your fingers. You'll be able to feel where your hair is healthy and where your hair is unhealthy. So from this point, starting here to here, my hair feels very soft and smooth. But then when it gets to this last point here, it's very, very rough. So this is what I'm going to chop right there and then chop this. All right, so once I've done that, I'll just twist that section. Grab another smaller section, spread some water, and then just smooth, smooth the water in using your fingers. Examine where your ends feel a bit rough. So if you're out there and you're struggling and you don't really know how to tell when it's the right time to trim your hair, girl, just look at the signs. One of the signs is, let's say you're trying to do a twist out or a braid up and then it just looks dead. Like the ends just look raggedy. You just know that it's time to trim your ends. Also, another sign that tells you when it's time to trim your own hair is when you moisturize your hair but then the ends feel super dry. Like you've not even applied any amount of moisture onto your own ends it's time to let go of those dry ends so the other method that i wanted to show you is a twist and trim method so all i'm gonna do is i'll spread some water again make sure my hair is detangled and then i'll just twist my hair into a two strand twist all right so see See, look at that look at that so when you have this this right here is a very very bad sign look at that yeah so when you're at that point you just want to take your scissors and snip that part right there yeah see look at that look at the difference that makes and the thing is, if you're struggling with heat damage or even uh, color damage, your ends are very, very dry and your hair is more prone to breakage. So you want to make sure that you trim very, very regularly. So I've shown you those two methods. You can choose to apply any method, whichever suits you best. All up on your screen, but I need to show you guys how my ends are a hot mess. Look at that. Yo, I don't even know why it took me so long to trim my hair. The last time I trimmed my hair was in December when I got the heat damage, but then I've never trimmed my hair after that. It's a hot mess. So when you're trying to, let's say, detangle your hair using a rattle comb, 
the minute you see see that see that i can't even get this comb through my hair all of this has to go there's no point of holding on to this ends. look at them they're just holding on to dear life they got to go oof 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 So if you're struggling growing out your hair, if you're struggling with split ends, if you're struggling with single strand knots, just analyze the condition of your ends and trim them. I think so many people ask me how often you're supposed to trim your hair. I would say maybe after every three months, but again, everyone's hair is different. So that's why you just need to be able to analyze your own hair, touch your own hair, interact with your own hair. <laughs> And then if you feel like your ends are just dry, just snip them. You can even decide to snip them every month. Guys, it's all up to you. It's all up to you and your own hair. And how quick was that, guys? It just took me about 10 minutes to completely finish trimming my hair. And look at that, my ends. My ends feel so good. So this is all the hair that I was able to trim out. This is about, I think per section I trimmed about an inch. And now my hair can just thrive and continue to retain as much length as possible. I know I told you guys that I was itching to cut my hair, but let me hold on to that thought for now as my hair is thriving. <laughs> so thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. Let me know if this method works for you. Let me know how often and how regularly you do trim your hair at home. And I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Mwah!